Again, this is a quick video here uh, showing <clears throat> you can directly download uh, the updated look firmware from our, our website uh, to your VD head unit. So obviously make sure you're connected to some Wi-Fi, you can hotspot from your phone or house Wi-Fi if you park nearby or whatever you want to do. So put the other uh, Wi-Fi on your phone on. Uh, remember to turn the Bluetooth on your phone off first before you start the car to get your hotspot to work. So otherwise your hotspot could be taken up by your wireless CarPlay or wireless Android Auto. Um, so that's all good. You'll know if um, this is working or not. Um, we're going to Chrome here. All right, and we're just going to go No, we're not going to go like that, we're going to go Vidia. Let's go to our website, like this. Now what you're at there with our website now, now what you're looking for is go into here, downloads, X series downloads, now load up, and scroll down, scroll down, uh, Speed play, majority of people will be on speed play now. So, current build uh, number, speed play download, click here, click on that, and you'll see that loads up. Now, once that's all done, you just want to click on the download button here. Download anyway, it's just saying it's too large to scan. And you can see the files downloaded, so I click on details, keep an eye on it. So it's saying it's going to take six minutes here. That's probably perfect in the end. Um, five minutes there, so we're just going to wait for that to happen. Now, the one other thing you are going to need is you, even though we're downloaded on here, we still need to drag it to like a USB stick. So in your kit, if you have one of our kits purchased or more recently, you you just need a USB drive. If you have one of our, our older, are we included in the kits? If you have like an older unit just like any USB drive will uh, like work just needs to be formatted as FAT32 which majority of them should be uh, by default uh, anyway so we'll just wait for this to finish all right beauty so that's all done downloaded take your USB drive put into one of the two USBs uh, coming out here just plug it in with one hand plugged into there and now we're going to go back here home screen apps file browser see we got the, the USB we just plugged in go into here go into like downloads you can see it's downloaded here click on the tick button and you can go cut now we're going to go into USB I'm going to go paste and you can see it's going to copy it across So that's all copied. Um, once that's all done, you should obviously see the, the file here in the correct size on the USB here. Now we just wanna basically pull the USB out, plug the USB back in, and we should hopefully get a pop-up on the screen saying do you want to update? We're just gonna say okay. And we're going to see a little spinny circle or Android sign then a spinny circle and that should start the update process uh, so it will remove uh, it will reset it to how it was originally so it will remove any uh, apps or anything off it um, so you can just see it doing here now so like this will happen to it goes to the end and then it'll go through installing apps and then you click on the finish at the end and it's all done or if you don't click on finish it'll just go back to the home screen um, this can take 12 to 14 minutes, so you might as well have your car running if you want. Um, just to save any battery issues. And then uh, that'll all be done. So you can see updates all been done. Um, if you did have any apps installed, they'll be gone. You have to reinstall those, and steering wheel controls basically resets the unit back to how it was. Um, settings about machine and you'll be able to see uh, what like build number it's come to so that'll give you an idea if it has been updated or not
cheers for that.